Donald Trump has gone to fear mongering about the migrant caravan as a way of drumming up his base, exciting them and getting them to vote in the midterms. But unfortunately, while doing so, he has encouraged civilian militia groups to go to the border fully armed and take action. Now, before I give you the details on that, just to give you a sense of how Trump has fear mongered about these migrants. He has insisted that there are unknown Middle Easterners traveling with them, which was not true. Very tough fighters, again, not true. And large numbers of violent criminals are traveling among the women and children and families heading north on foot. Again, none of this is true. These are people who are fleeing violence from their own countries in search for safety. Again, many of them are women and children. But nonetheless, he has now encouraged armed civilians to show up at the border and try to fight this battle themselves, which could prove to be dangerous and violent. So the Texas Minutemen, that's one of the militia groups, have about 100 volunteers who are planning on showing up to the border and they wanna help stop the migrants with more likely on the way. And that's according to the head of this group, a man by the name of Shannon McGully. Now, he was asked, uh, whether his group planned to deploy uh, weapons, and Shannon Migoli uh, laughed. He said, this is Texas, man, because they can't wait to use their weapons. So look, uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure I know anyone tougher on Republicans than us. And I think that a lot of them share culpability for the, the extreme right wing, especially the ones that encourage it online and again, the MAGA guys that encourage the violence and celebrate it as Donald Trump calls for it over and over again. Donald Trump calls it an invasion, so they're grabbing their guns to go meet the invaders. Does anybody in the caravan have weapons? No, nobody does. Are there Muslims in the caravan? First of all, so what if there were? But no, there aren't any Muslims, it's a lie, it's a lie, 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 over and over again from Donald Trump. So here they come with weapons now. But to be fair to the Republicans in Texas, most of the folks living down by the border that the Washington Post talked to were Republicans. And they said, we don't want them here. Right. And, and why don't they want them here? Well, several of them explained, look, those are the most trigger happy guys in the country. So they're coming with weapons. And what if one of them sees something that they view to be suspicious or someone looking to grab a weapon? It's Texas, as the guy said, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's got weapons. What if they start firing? Now, let me go further and back up those Republicans in Texas that are worried, okay, or concerned about this. I think they're rightfully concerned. I'll get to a great quote from one of them in a minute, okay? But now imagine a scenario where one of these yahoos goes down there and sees what he perceives to be a threat because he can't wait. He starts shooting. Now, the National Guard's been warned, the military's put out a memo. We'll explain about that more in a second, saying, hey, watch out for these guys, okay? Make sure they're not doing anything outside the law, right? Apparently, sometimes they steal from the National Guard. Okay, so if they start firing at the caravan or people that they think are the caravan, and the National Guard tells them to stand down or our military tells them to stand down and they won't stand down, what if the military has to fire at them? And then they're all heavily armed and then they turn around and fire back. This is an epic disaster waiting to happen. So let's talk a little bit about how the military is preparing for this. Remember, Trump wanted the military to take action and the Pentagon was like, no. So that's the reason why you now have vigilantes and civilian militias trying to take action on their own, which again is gonna be a disaster if they plan on doing what they say they're gonna do. Now, according to military planning documents obtained by Newsweek, the military is concerned about the arrival of unregulated militia members self-deploying to the border in alleged support of US Customs and Border Protection. And the reason why they are worried is because of the violence. But again, as Cenk alluded to earlier, they've been known to steal weapons from members of our military. And so it's a disaster and the people who live in that area don't want them there. And I have a bunch of those quotes in a minute as well. Go ahead, Cenk. There's the Border Patrol and then there's the National Guard. And so those are the guys that have got the military memo saying, be careful about these militia guys, they could they could cause trouble. Sometimes for you guys, because that's literally happened before, but mainly they can cause chaos, which makes your job more difficult, not less difficult. 
Yeah, and by the way, that military planning document also said, quote, they operate under the guise of citizen patrols, the report said, while warning of incidents of unregulated militias stealing National Guard equipment during deployments. Now, let's go to the Republicans who live in the area, and by no means do these people want open borders. They they see immigration as a problem as well, but they also see these unregulated civilian militias as a huge problem. One of those people is Michael Vickers, and he says they are a bunch of guys with a big mouth and no substance to them. Lucy Cruz also says, I will not let militia on my land. They're civilians stepping into a situation where the border patrol is supposed to be in control and make decisions. They could damage property or harm workers. I would guess they would be trigger happy. If they shot someone, they might just say the person they shot was reaching for a gun. Again, this is a Republican and I find it fascinating that she said that toward the end. Because that is oftentimes an excuse that we hear when an unarmed civilian here in the United States is shot and killed. The militia just needs to stay where they are. We don't need fanatical people. We don't need anybody here with guns. Why do they have guns? I have dealt with illegals for 30 years and all of them have been scared asking for help. The militias need to stay up north where they belong. We have no use for them here. They might shoot someone or hurt someone. By the way, that's Joe Metz, he's 80 years old. He's also a Republican. And so he look, he calls them illegals, right? So it's not like he's a liberal of any sort at all. He's like, I don't, he's been dealing with the illegals for 30 years. But since he sees them, he knows that the propaganda isn't true. Like somehow they're like shadowy terrorists who are coming. He, look at what he said. He said, all of them have been scared and asking for help for 30 straight years. Because they're coming here for hope and opportunity. And oftentimes running away from violence. They're not coming here on these made up nefarious purposes that Fox News and Donald Trump talks about. That's propaganda, that's nothing but lies. So even Republicans down there who don't want undocumented immigrants coming in, partly because they come to their land first, go, yeah, but keep it real. They're actually scared and poor people. So we don't need a bunch of guns in here to go run after these guys who are already in bad shape. We just need to enforce the law and make sure they don't come. So if that was the conversation we were having in this country, that would be a way healthier conversation. And one we could actually have, let's treat people humanely, but enforce our law. But no, whenever it's the right wing, they can't help themselves. So they got grabbed their weapons. Some of them are heading down there. The others are reasonable. And but most of the overall, the party and led by Donald Trump is not on the side of reason. It's on the side of encouraging people to take violent action themselves because the invaders are on their way, filled with terrorists and violent criminals, all based on lies. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.